From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. It was an active severe weather day across the Great Plains and even here in parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Here's a 24-hour radar recap with the severe thunderstorm and tornado watches overlaid. You can see for a period of time we had a severe thunderstorm watch here in parts of Pennsylvania. Not too much activity, really only severe weather across southeastern Pennsylvania, but the real activity was across the Great Plains from Kansas down to Oklahoma. Had some supercells fire during the afternoon, formed into a squall line, and then this whole squall line marched east over the course of the day and then overnight and even into this morning and this afternoon even the southern part of this squall line is still tracking across the Gulf Coast states and still having some severe level wind gusts so a pretty impressive feat that almost 24 hours later some of these thunderstorms are still rolling off to the east but no severe weather here today or any severe weather expected really into the short term short term forecast showers will be likely though tomorrow after we have had a dry day today those showers will continue into friday drier weather for the day on saturday likely see a little bit of sunshine but then another storm system moves in late on the day on sunday and impacts us into monday and even hanging around a little bit into tuesday as well we started the day with a few clouds this morning but they thinned out over the course of the afternoon and that has allowed us to warm up quite nicely into the upper 50s not as warm as we've seen recently but still enough to where it's rather comfortable out there 57 degrees currently with the dew point of 43 so not definitely not as humid as it was yesterday where we've had some more sunshine across the western half of the state 63 degrees in Franklin and 61 degrees in Pittsburgh but the clouds and even a few showers have kept us cooler to the south and east only 50 degrees in Harrisburg. There are those clouds on the satellite and radar image. You can see them stationed across the southern part of the state. They've slowly been trying to work south over the course of the day and that has brought sunshine to the northern half which was in the clouds yesterday. But these clouds will begin to move back north over the course of the night as the next storm system works its way into the region. So there are those clouds increasing tonight on our future cast. By tomorrow morning, should be some rain on our doorstep, unfortunately looking like another wet morning commute here in State College. Rain could be heavy at times, especially during the morning hours. Maybe even some thunder as some of these rain showers move through. And then during the rest of the afternoon and the evening, expect on and off rain showers. Maybe turning to a light drizzle overnight on Friday. And then even during the daytime hours, on and off rain showers and a period of light rain may be expected for a period of time during the afternoon. Of course, we do have moving on. We'll get the details. We're still working out the details on when we can expect the rain Friday evening, but it does look like it's going to be a little bit soggy. However, for this evening, Penn State baseball will be playing Kent State at 630. We're going to stay dry. Temperatures will be a little bit cool, though. They'll start nice at 58 degrees, but then drop down into the lower 50s. And then overnight tonight, we'll drop all the way down to 41 degrees with those cloudy skies. Showers could be possible late. And then tomorrow, showers likely, cloudy, a bit of a dreary day, thunder possible, high temperature of 57 degrees with a light wind out of the east. And here's your seven-day forecast. There's that dry day on Saturday, partly sunny skies. Temperatures will be able to get up into the 60s, 64. Showers and some clouds return on Sunday, and then the next storm system impacts us early next week with temperatures still hanging around average which is the middle 60s for this time of the year. For CNET and for Campus Weather Service, I am student meteorologist Michael Spagnolo. Have a great rest of the week.